Uh, man, you know, it's it's that old thing, you know, perseverance, consistency, hard work, you know what I mean? Uh, my goal is to put the same work into, you know, my businesses, my family that I put into football, you know, and, and I've been running with that mantra since, you know, since I got married back in 97, you know, that if I'm going to have a successful marriage, I got to, you know, the same hard work and same consistency and discipline I had on the football field, I got to put it in my marriage and with my kids and with my, with my businesses and all that, so. Uh, it teaches you a lot, man. You know how to deal with your fellow man, and not look at his, his color, but look at you know what he can do for the overall good of what you're trying to accomplish. You know, so uh, it, you know, sports to me in general is just an incredible deal. When you, you talk about football specifically, because of the closeness of guys, I, I just believe it's an amazing sport. The lifeblood of any college football team lies within their ability to continuously bring in top talent. That's why recruiting is everything, and we'll take a look at some of the top incoming recruits for 2018. The Brown Bears are chomping at the bit to get back atop the Ivy League standings and a lot of success within this league is tied to the strength of the quarterback play and Drew Clipper gives them a prospect that has a lot of moxie and excellent toughness in the pocket. He's able to throw from a traditional standpoint and out on the move. It's going to be fun to watch him develop as a Bear. The Columbia Lions continue to hit home runs in recruiting, and this year they went right to work on the defensive side of the ball. They signed 22 players on defense, seven along the defensive line, and Drake Morey at 6'5", 260 gives them tremendous size up front, but also a player that has the technical skill and ability to see time very early as a first-year player. He shows the ability to play as a seven or even inside as a five or a four tech. I think he has a lot of versatility and potential. The Cornell Big Red landed a big time tail back in Delonte Harrell from the Chicago area. He has very good contact balance, footwork, and breakaway speed. When the Big Red are rolling, they're able to control the line of scrimmage and run the ball. And having a threat like Harrell puts them in positions to not only get ahead, but also close out games. I think this kid has special talent. While Dartmouth hasn't officially released their signing class for 2018, one of the prospects that's a very strong commit is quarterback Jack Alexander. He's a California kid coming all the way out east to play for head coach Buddy Tevens. Now Tevens, a former star big green quarterback himself, knows how to maximize position and develop QBs at a premium. They've been on a fantastic run over the last four years, and Alexander, who can accurately throw from different platforms along with his athleticism, fits the mold of what they covet at the pivot position. The Harvard Crimson are known as an offensive line factory in the Ivy League, and I think they got a fantastic player in Tommy Icardi. The 6'4", 285-pound lineman from nearby Northeastern Massachusetts has great movement skills and is a finisher, which is exactly what you want at the position. He has the potential to grow as either a guard or a tackle, and a new offensive line coach Andy Marino, who comes over from Lehigh, will definitely get the most out of Icardi. The Penn Quakers lose all everything wide receiver Justin Watson, who was versatile and very good after the catch. And I have to say, incoming recruit Darnell Flurry has a lot of the same traits as the former All-American. Now, Flurry can play inside or outside. He's not afraid of contact at the catch point and has the speed to outrun angles. He also saw time at quarterback in high school, so there's really nothing he can't do on a football field and should be a star for the Quakers. Princeton has done a solid job of recruiting during Coach Bob Sarace's tenure, especially at the skill positions on both sides of the ball. Tight end Harrison Caponetti is an exceptional talent. I really enjoy watching this film because of the attitude in which he plays with. He has the attitude and, to be honest, the game of a Travis Kelsey. I know that's lofty praise for an incoming recruit, but Caponetti's game from a route running and catching standpoint can easily back up that claim. Rounding out the ancient eight with the Yale Bulldogs, who always seem to find rangy linebackers that are good on both ends of defense, and that's what they have in Brett Gerber and what he brings to the table. He can play inside as well as outside backer and has very good instincts, and I think he can easily get up to about 235, 240 by the time all said and done. Without losing speed and athleticism, he's going to be a very good player for the Bulldogs. 
So that's a wrap from Football Game Plans FCS Kickoff. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts and don't forget to check out and subscribe to the FCS Opening Drive podcast on iTunes and also on SoundCloud where Dave Hashagan and myself dive deeper into the world of the FCS. And don't forget to subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network on YouTube where you can find all of our FCS video content at youtube.com slash football game plan.